league on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Birds and the Buccaneers. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. The cannons of the pirate ship ready to fire in the north end zone. We can only be one place. Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa, the home of the Buccaneers. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olsen. Greg, what are the joys of covering the league week in, week out? You watch guys grow and mature, and all of a sudden you turn around and look at the quarterbacks we have in this game. Now we're looking at guys who have arrived at that magic term, franchise quarterback. Yeah, I think you just have to give a lot of credit, of course, to the player themselves, the work, the ability to invest in themselves to develop, but also in these organizations. They continue to surround these quarterbacks as they've gotten older with better talent, better systems, play to their strengths, maybe protect some of their weaknesses. That's what it takes to play at a high level at the quarterback for a long time in the NFL and give credit to both these players and both these organizations I think it's official. They have their quarterback of the future, and the future looks bright. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Eagles let out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg Geary is already in his fifth year in the NFL. If he's going to lead his team to a win, he has to be smart with his decision-making. The last thing you want to do is give the opposing team an extra possession solely because you got reckless with the ball. As long as he is calculated with those risks, I think they have a good chance today coming out on top. Dotson, the man in motion. play went the wrong way it sets up second along it's second down and 12. so here is the former giant it's saquon barkley they converge on him quickly he'll only get a couple jordan whitehead is there to bring him down of an opening three and out. They face third and ten. Hurts to throw. He'll try and get there on the ground. He'll get a dozen out of that one, scrambling his way to a first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. That's what It's the tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, Continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. First and ten. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. A ball deep for the end zone. That is going to be called in. He's got it. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. They find the end zone here on the opening drive, and Greg, they're able to do it in the air. Mike, it makes you wonder, is this drive a sign of things to come? I mean, this secondary, they had their hands full there. Are we going to see it repeated throughout the rest of this game, or are they going to have some answers on defense?
Here's Jake Elliott for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Tucker. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. They send Evans in motion. Here's Baker to begin with a pass. A short one there to Otten. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. They'll run with the third-year man. It's Rashad White. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Baker going to hand it to White. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw is Mayfield. It's complete to Evans. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver, who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. It's a pickup of 12. It's a first down for Tampa Bay. Each week coming into the game, every team in the league, Mike, places a huge emphasis on success on their opening drive. But the key to that is sustaining possession, converting on third down. It's exactly what they were able to do here, keeping the ball on the ground. He'll run over center with White. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. Godwin working the right side. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump?
unbalanced look here to the right side on first and ten. Throwing is Baker. Open man, the tight end, Phil Keith. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They sent Godwin in motion. On second down, Baker to left side to Godwin. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. And this has been a really nice answer so far to this game, Mike. I mean, you watch your opponent take the initial drive and go right down the field and score. And what are you going to do in response? What are you going to do when you get that ball back for the first time in your huddle? And tell you what, they've answered all those questions, and now they're set up first and goal. They'll run with White. On is Chase McLaughlin for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Buccaneers come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. This returnable from the four. He's across the 20, taking down just shy of the 25. The Eagles offense ready now for their second drive. They're trying to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. They'll come up now for second down and four. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. He finds Devontae Smith. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw of the day, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route runner. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy's certainly one of them. On first down, it's Hurts. A short throw taken in by Goddard. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. to Brown and he will not get away terrific open field tackle gets him down behind the line here's third and seven Hurts working in the pistol and this ball incomplete on third down. 
Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And it's going to be fourth down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Oh, he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. The Buccaneers offense ready to take over for their second possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. They'll start this on the ground. And here's White. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. From the gun, it's Mayfield. He'll look over the middle and find his running back. And they're going to mark him down right at the 30-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And there's a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. They'll come up now for second down and four. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. A short one there to Otten. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Third and a yard. From the gun, it's Mayfield. He's got his man. Right side, it's complete. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12. And a first down. Nice play here by Rashad White. I'll tell you, I had a chance to call one of his games late last year. And what really stands out is he is very comfortable when being used in the passing game. And finished last year fourth amongst all NFL running backs, finishing with 64 receptions. They send Evans in motion. On first and ten, here's Baker. There's Evans, he's got it. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. We are through one in this wild card rematch from a season ago. All even on the scoreboard. Pull up more from Tampa after this. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Baker going to hand it to White. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Second down, Baker. The throw on the run is complete. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Well, it's been pretty clear this offense has wanted to get this running back involved in the passing game here in the first half. And with the success they've found, I expect the rest of the game to go very similar. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. That is part of the three. And he will get into the end zone. Cade Otten. Touchdown, Buccaneers. And that was just a great drive, really from start to finish.
finish, Mike, you could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm. Mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. McLaughlin now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Buccaneers will move out to a 14 to 7 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this will be returned from the six and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive the Eagles offense getting those helmets back on ready to head out for their next possession they trail now 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10 Shotgun snapped out of Hurts. Open man is Smith. He's got him. And they have the first down. So they get the completion on first and five. And now they'll set up first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. First and 10. the shotgun. It's Hurts. He finds Jahan Dotson. And they'll take this down inside the 35. To the air again. Hurts. Now he'll run it. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it will be second down. 
it's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. That'll be caught left side. It's done. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up. He's out of bounds at the two. A gain there of 13 yards. So first off, nice job picking up enough for the first down. I gotta be honest, Mike, when he caught it, I heard he was gonna put his foot in the ground and get physical and run through contact and try to score. I'm not so sure why he just so quickly ran out of bounds, even though he was able to pick up the first. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. Going in the wrong direction. Now second and goal from the 12. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. That one taken in. Jahan Dotson. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Elliott on now for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Eagles will tie things up. We are all even at 14. We are all square, 14 apiece. The score as this one's away. On the return, here comes Tucker. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Buccaneers offense, running back Rashad White, ready for this next possession. And he's been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers here in the first half. This defense will need to find a way to key in on him because he's eating them up right now. Set to go now on first and ten. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. Checking it down, this one is caught. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. Here comes Otten in motion. That's thrown quickly, taken in by Godwin. Here's a third down and four. From the gun, it's Mayfield. That one complete. It's the tight end, Otten. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever coming. Okay, okay. 
Baker going to hand it to White. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. And he will get into the end zone. seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. If you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. On comes McLaughlin to add the PAT. It's up and good. And the Buccaneers have worked in the deadlock as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead. more as the kicks away he fields it at the eight and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the eagles offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field they're searching here for the tie score down 21 14 they'll begin first and ten Defenders to jump. <laughs> to throw on second down is Hurts. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time, and it's going to bring up a third down. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. Taking a shot downfield for Smith. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. 
He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Set to go now on first and ten. Hurts will work here from the pistol. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Uh, certainly one way to bounce back here defensively after giving up a huge explosive play on the previous snap. To bounce back and come away with the sack. Now you find yourself in second and long. You can catch your breath. And the opportunity to get off the field has just gone up. Second down, Hurts. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run after. Third and long for Hurts. Over the middle to his tight end, Goddard. And it's a gain of 19 to the 19-yard line. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike. This is one of those times where you really see the evolution of the tight end position, right? It's not the days of just go past the first down, turn around, catch it, and fall. We see so many guys around the league that with the ball in their hand, they're almost more running back than they are tight end. So, two minutes to play in a back and forth first half. Greg and I back from Tampa after a time. So, here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. He'll go right back to Goddard. He's got it again. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here first and goal. And he's in. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Eagle. Elliott on now for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Eagles will even the score. It's now 21 all. the touchdown in time for the kickoff on the return here comes Tucker he'll get across the 20 mark him down at the 23 yard line Baker Mayfield and the Bucks ready to get back to work this one tight throughout all level at 21 as they'll search for a go ahead score Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Throwing is Mayfield. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. Bryce Huff, the former Jet, in there to bring him down. 
Nice job of getting him down there for the sack. And Huff has now joined the Eagles this offseason. He had a breakout campaign last year in New York that saw him record 10 sacks on the year. They're hoping he can fill those shoes left by Hassan Reddick. And so far, Mike, so good. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. He keeps it himself. Now the Bucks will take their first time out as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go until halftime. Here's third and two. Out of the pistol, it's Mayfield. It's complete to Evans. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. Shotgun, Mayfield, to the left side, to Godwin. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. Good for a Buccaneers first down. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. No one open, he'll drop it to his running back. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Baker to throw. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. As a pass rusher, you don't always need to record a sack to make your presence felt. Creating pressure, move the quarterback, affect his timing. Those are all different ways to take pressure off your coverage unit. Mayfield. Deep for the back of the end zone. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Could not ask for more from that first half. All even as we begin quarter number three. On the return, here comes Tucker. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Bucks offense and Baker Mayfield ready for their next possession. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and we'll try to sustain it here down the stretch.
set to go now on first and ten. Mayfield to throw. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. As you can probably imagine, Mike, this one really burns me. I mean, man, I wish my fellow tight ends catch every ball the entire game, but to be this open and not come down with it, I'm going to have to set a reminder. Next year at TEU, we're going to have to bring out some jugs machines. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. He was looking for Rashad White out of the backfield. Third down coming up. They sent Godwin in motion. From the gun, it's Mayfield. A short one there to Otten. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Kicking time for the Bucks. They'll punch it away. They send Britton Covey back deep. And the receiver with a fair catch. Taken successfully. And that's where he'll turn it over to the offense. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. So first and 10 now. They'll start from the 22. On play action, here's Hurts. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. That quarterback called that play in the huddle. That ball was only going to one guy. He was the first read, the second read, and the check to help him. It was called to perfection. They got the perfect look and led to a nice game. They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw is Hurts. Back to the right side. Punt by Goddard. And out of bounds he goes. Just shy of midfield. A game there of 21. Good for an Eagles first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike. Just pitch and catch. But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That's complete to Smith. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. Here's third and seven. From the shotgun, it hurts. And that is incomplete. Every team has those vertical shots, Michael, on the call sheet, and they feel like they can get behind the defense. I think that was one of them, and just couldn't quite connect downfield because he had pretty good separation. Here comes the Eagles punt team. He's on for the second time. They'll try to get something inside the tent. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Buccaneers offense and running back Rashad White ready for this next possession. This one tight throughout, all level at 21, as they'll search for a go-ahead score.
The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Here comes Otten in motion. On first and 10, here's Baker. Throw left side, pulled in by Evans. And he's got this up close to the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. On the ground, it's White. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. We'll try again. It's second and 10. Here comes Otten in motion. On play action, Mayfield. Get this complete right side to Otten. Third down and nine. From the gut, it's Mayfield. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. Kicking time for the Bucks. They'll punch it away. As he's on to punt for the second straight drop. Back deep for the Eagles. Britton Covey. And it'll be a good return. He's able to get it up past the 40-yard line. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. Here's first and ten. Kurtz will work here from the pistol. That's hot. Saquon Barkley. Good spot here, second and a yard. Hurts delivers it quick to Brown. And they'll take this down inside the 35. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, this one intercepted. And the Buccaneers are going to get the football here at their own 38-yard line. You know, whether you're manning the middle or you're a rusher coming off the edge, like, if you play linebacker in this league, you have to have the ability to handle yourself in pass coverage. If the expectation is that a throw is going to head his way, he'll make that play. And that was the biggest play he could have made. That was really nicely done. Here's the Tampa Bay offense. They're going to take over once more. This one tight throughout, all level at 21, as they'll search for a go-ahead score.
Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. They'll start this on the ground. Here's White. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. From the gun, it's Mayfield. That's caught. Play home. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. Look at the three tight ends here on first and ten. Throwing is Mayfield. A short one there to Otten. So they'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Baker going to hand it to White. He's going to be taken down at about the third. I'll tell you what, Mike. This is a guy that you do not want to have to tackle in space. I mean, the footwork, the agility, the ability to go side to side and then still have the burst and explosiveness to pick up big yards. I mean, this guy is a handful. On first down, it's White. He brings this to about the 26-yard line. Reed Blankenship coming up from his safety spot to make the stop. Off the play fit, it's Mayfield. This other team responds having to play from behind. We got a ton of time, Greg, but a little momentum feel. Come out of the locker room, take the lead. Now it's up to the other team to climb uphill. So great way, perfect way to get this second half started. McLaughlin now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bucks go up by seven. 28 to 21. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. He fields it at the eight. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. The Eagles offense getting set to get back to work. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now... They're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Man in motion is Smith. A first down throw for Hurts. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Dallas Goddard, that time. And it'll be second down.
from the shotgun. It's Hurts. Left side. It's caught by Brown. Here's a third down and four. from the gun. Here's Hurts. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Nice pickup there by Saquon Barkley, and this is an element of his game that early on in his career he really excelled at. You think back to his rookie year, Mike, in 2018, 91 catches. Last year, only 41. Now, I think a lot of that can be blamed on some quarterback issues and some injuries to Daniel Jones, but Got to get him back going in the passing game. Here's second and three to go. A handoff, running left. It's Barkley. He'll get about four out of that one. That should be enough to move the chains. It is. First down. Once again, it's Barkley. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. You can tell the entire time that running back is just looking for his crease to get vertical and cut back. But the defense does a great job. Inside out pursuit. Strings this ball out towards the sideline. Nowhere to go. And they make a big stop for no game. On second down, Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. He'll get this one complete to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. There's a reason certain guys, might just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? So, three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Now Hurts. He's going to tuck it and go. Taking advantage of the room to run. A gain of 19 on the scramble. When you're game planning during the week for a mobile quarterback like this, on every down, you have to have somebody to account for him. You can see why here. He's able to escape the pocket, turn into a runner, and he can take every play and make it a big play. Sure, they're thinking about the decision after the touchdown since they're down seven. But first, they've got to get the TV. It is first down and goal. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to man just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would classify that one as tough. But you've got to make that catch. Give your team a chance to come away with this drive and some points.
two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. That is hot. What a job to keep the play alive. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. And once they let the quarterback out of the pocket, it just became too many options at their disposal. you got to keep him in the pocket and limit the run option. Once he's out there on the perimeter, Mike, his ability to either throw it or take it in himself, it just puts so much pressure on these coverage defenders and results in an easy touchdown. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good and that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter for this next possession and he has put in a full game's work and then some just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter set to go now on first and ten they'll stick to the ground he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. Here's Mayfield working from the pistol. Open man and his corner, it's complete. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. You get in these situations, third down, tie game, fourth quarter. I mean, this is really where your quarterback makes his money. You are going to put your faith and say, all right, what is the best play for this offense to execute? And the game really rests in the hands of your quarterback. And... He continues to come up with these third down pickups and continues to extend this drive. He's got a shot to come away the hero and win this game here late. The defense did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. They face second down and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no gain. Wow, an important one coming here. Tie game late and this is third down they send godwin in motion from the gun on third down it's mayfield and that is incomplete it's just so hard to be a good offense in the nfl mike when you are not good on third down your inability to extend drives it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on fourth down 
or simply punt or take a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more cracks to score touchdowns. And that's going to work out well. Out of bounds, and they mark it inside the five-yard line. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. They'll start this one with a three tight end run. They'll run here. And he does not want to go down. Somehow he turned that into a gain of six. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. And in motion is Brown. Quick throw, taken in. And he'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Stick to the ground. He finds some room across the 25. And he's going to be taken down. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Shotgun snap now to Hurts. He'll get this over the middle to Smith. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. A good spot here, second and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. for an Eagles first down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. Open receiver is Dotson. They'll work now on second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. The crowd making their presence felt. This is third down. And that is incomplete. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So prior to that third down call, Mike, I thought they put themselves in a pretty good situation. At that down and distance, they had run and pass, both at their disposal. But nice job by the defense being up to the task. Force the incomplete, brings up fourth down. And this one's going to land out 
out of bounds as the market inside the 20. The Buccaneers offense and running back Rashad White ready for this next possession. We're all even. Fourth quarter, so every drive so important at this stage. And they'll start with first and ten. Space tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. Here comes Otten in motion. They'll run. He'll be close to a first down. He's up to the 26-yard line. Third and a yard. They'll keep it on the ground. And this will be a big first down. He'll take it up to about the 33-yard line. stick to the ground and he'll get about five here's second down they go play action with Mayfield Two minutes to play in regulation. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Going to need a big play now. Third down and long. A run with White. And he'll take this one up to about the 34-yard line. And we'll see a timeout used by the defense, stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. Kicking time for the Bucks. They'll punt it away. Important punt here in this tie game late. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Eagles offense ready to get back at it. We're all even. Fourth quarter. So every drop so important at this stage. And they'll start with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down in bounds. Now, second and four. And in motion is Brown. A gain of 24 through the air. Good for an Eagles first down. 
These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And that's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. They'll drop the throw. And will go right back to Goddard. He's got it again. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here comes second down. Now Barkley. Good running there. He's got the first down inside the 30. their second and they'll get together prior to the second down play of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike. We all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. Elliott on now for the PAT. up and good and the Eagles will go up by seven so the lead is seven now here in this fourth quarter, the tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense and running back Rashad White ready for this next possession. And it's hard to believe you can run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. They'll come up for first and ten. From the gun, it's Mayfield. Oh, what a pressure there. He can't get a throw away, and he's taken down. That's a prototypical coverage sack. All 11 guys on the field doing their job. Starts with sound back-end coverage. Nowhere to go quick with the ball. The quarterback has no chance but to extend the play. Look for something late developing downfield. That was all the time this front needed to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. And the rush gets there. Down he goes. The Buccaneers forced to use their third and final timeout. And the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go. Going to need a big play now. Third down and long. They'll drop to throw. Throw left side. Pulled in by Evans. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. They pick up a nice chunk play there through the air on third down, but it's not quite enough to move the chains. 
Now the question is, how aggressive is this head coach willing to be as he tries to extend this drive? And that's going to be incomplete. The defense pulls here in the final minute, and they're going to get out of here with a victory. So it's a win here for the visiting Eagles. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That was the difference in this one.